Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking some inspiration from a new planner friend. Actually, I think he's been following me for a while, but he just started his own YouTube channel and I believe it's called A Man With The Plans. I'm gonna leave him up in a card right now for you guys. You guys should all go subscribe to him and I'm gonna leave his information down in the description box below. Like I said, he just started YouTube. He is awesome. He does decorative planning. He uses an Erin Condren. It's amazing. So go check out his content. He also does budgeting stuff if you guys are into that. So like, he's kind of like got it covered on his YouTube channel, which I'm like loving. But the other day he had uploaded a video of like a recipe tracker and I'm like, dude, I need to do that. As some of you know that maybe watch some of my food hauls and watch the vlogs, I kind of like just eat the same thing over and over and over and I'm just like not that creative when it comes to trying new things. And I think I really like for 2019, I mean I know we're in 2018 still, I get it. But for 2019, I really need to like branch out a little bit and find some new recipes like either on Pinterest or from like friends or family members or whoever and just get a little bit out of my rut that I'm in. Like I'm in a serious food rut. I kind of scoured my washi because clearly this needs a lot of washi and um, I found some good ones and I found one that I actually haven't even listed on my shop yet but by the time this video goes up it should be on the shop and I'm going to use that but I was going to use this page as the recipe tracker and y'all know that I'm a horrible baker so um, <laughs> I do these like drunk bake with me's once in a while and I need to get like better at baking so when what I did was I grabbed this little washi sample from my shop and it's got just like little pink cupcakes on it. I think I'm gonna do a baking one on this side and then like a cooking one on this side because I need to be better at things, but I'm clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the washi that I am going to use for the new recipes. Um, it's really cute. I kinda wanna put it down like this because, you know cuteness and all. And um, if I try more of them, I'll just use the back side of this page. And this is like a little like kitchen scene. It's got like a little cooker and a kettle and a bunch of other like some eggs and some like jars of sauces and a, all this other fun stuff and like a little teacup. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like more of a, a kitchen washi, which is really cute. Also, let me just lay this down right now just because I have my little washi cutter out. This is some little pink background cupcakes because clearly I need to get better at baking. <laughs> and I think, don't quote me on this, but I think fairly soon I'm gonna be doing another drunk bake with me maybe in the next month or so. I haven't like nailed it down, but I know what I wanna make. So um, I have some of the ingredients and I have the idea, so <laughs> that's like half the battle, right guys? All right, and this is like this, I don't know, this is not new to me, but this is like this new thing I've like started doing because every once in a while, regardless, like I feel like washi sometimes just like kind of, I don't know, like curls up a little bit once in a great while. It has nothing to do with like anything. It's just kind of the adhesiveness on the paper, but I feel like when you kind of kind of slam it, or slam it down kind of like this. I feel like it really helps, especially on the ends, but I don't know. Maybe that's just like my own placebo thinking like, oh yeah, that like works out great. So let's work on this side first. And I don't know if I said this, I am working in my new Erin Condren life planner in the hourly layout. If y'all are interested in a video on my walkthrough on this, I will link it up in a card for you guys. But I have the colorful version in the 12 months, which is January through December. And then I also got the Lux hard cover. And then I got my channel initials embossed on here in the gold. And then I have a gold coil this year. All right, so I'm gonna be using this sheet from Chrisanne Design. It's almost gone, but this is the KAD 00075. There is some um, orange little stickers and there's three, which I need three. So I figured let's kind of like use this up a little bit. And I am gonna be putting in the recipe name, the source, and then also Ryan had a great idea to put 
leftovers, like how many leftovers are left at the end. When you make a specific dish, so if you're making a crock pot, crock, 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 a crock pot meal or anything else, just how much is left over at the end of that recipe. Me being a single person, it's really nice to know just so if I'm meal planning, I know, okay, well I get three meals out of this or I get six meals out of this. So I can kind of plan accordingly or if I have guests coming over or someone coming to stay over that I know kind of how much it feeds. And then also I'm gonna be using, there's some stickers here and they're just like little emojis and I found these like thumbs up, thumbs down. So there's like a little thumbs up and a little thumbs down. I'm gonna make another column as well. So let's put this stuff in. All right, so we've got recipe, source, and leftovers. So I'm gonna do it kind of similar to Ryan's. I'm gonna put my recipe over here, and then I'm gonna put, like Ryan did, leftovers all the way to the right, because like I really don't need a lot of space for this. Um, I just need like a little column. Actually, I'm gonna scrap this. Source, I'm not gonna put in. I've decided I'm not gonna put it in because I'd rather have more room for the recipe and then if I have enough room, maybe I'll write the source. Like I feel like I don't really, I don't know, need it maybe? And I just feel like I don't have enough space like on this little thing to do that. So what I wanna do is um, put in these like thumbs up, thumbs down stickers. And I'm probably gonna get questions on these emoji stickers and I believe that I got them I want to say it like the Dollar Tree or something like years ago. Um, I think back when I was still living in Fargo, if I want to say it right, I think. They're just emoji stickers. I know a lot of like places carry them. I think even like Walmart carries emoji stickers now. I mean, it's like, it's like a full bone thing. All right, I've got this other sheet from Christian Designs that's almost out and it's the KAD00501 and I'm gonna use this yellow one. I'm kind of just pulling the colors from this washi which are yellow, orange, and red. So just kind of, you know, let's just do it. And I love that it coordinates up here with the orange page flag because that just gives me life. All right, so I just wrote new recipe tracker. Put this right up at the top. Hopefully that looks kind of centered. <laughs> you never know. And then I'm gonna use some of these Erin Condren decoration stickers that have lots of different things in here. And I think I'm gonna use some of the same color scheme. So I'm gonna grab this like plate right here. I'm gonna put that over here with the fork and spoon. Oh goodness. I can't set the table properly, kids. The fork and the spoon. And then the knife is on the other side. Oop, here we go. All right, so there is that. And then I'm gonna use this big knife and maybe this spatula, because it's kind of in the same color scheme. Kinda put this over here. Cool. All right, and for the lines that I'm going to make, I am going to use this Erin Condren dual tip marker, and I'm gonna use it in the fine point. And I'm just gonna start it at the bottom over here. Actually, hold on. I keep making so many mistakes today. <laughs> oh, you guys. All right, so I am actually gonna pull this off real quick. Uh, I can still kind of do that because it hasn't been left on too long. Okay. I kind of want to center it and I'll kind of show you guys why in just a second. It's just, I think it's going to be more like visually pleasing. Normally Christian design stickers, you can't really pull off. Like it's already kind of lifting over here, but that's all right. I don't really mind it. I'd rather have some of the paper messed up underneath. It's okay. You can use um, a product called Undo and I will link that down below if you guys are interested in checking that out. Um, 
to lift these up and not damage your paper. But some, I find if you do it to Christian Design stickers like right away, then it's not usually that big of an issue. So I'm gonna turn it this way. The reason I wanted to do it that way is because the stickers were so high up that there'd be like so much negative space in between and I'm gonna use this line as a guideline. All right, and then I will put a big section for the recipe because that is what I wanna do. And then the thumbs up or thumbs down. And then we've got the leftovers column. All right, so this is how I am setting up my new recipe tracker for 2019. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing for this page for baking. So I'm gonna speed up this footage because I'm basically gonna do the same thing and then we will chat at the end. So that is going to be it for myself tracking recipes for next year in 2019. Thank you so much to Ryan for this great, wonderful idea. I'm so excited to start using this and I might even start using it before 2019, but now I'm finally set up. I've got my baking and I've got my cooking. How do you guys track your new recipes? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd be very curious to find out what you guys do because y'all have like the best ideas. So anyways, I am going to jet. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure to check out Ryan's channel. Link will be below and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you